In this video, I will be explaining about Odonata and Epimeropteran insect orders. Let's see the Odonata. If you look at the order level characters, they are predaceous with biting type of mouth parts. Compound eyes are prominent, holoptic in dragonflies and dioptic in damselflies. Holoptic means compound eyes are large and meet mid dorsally, whereas dioptic means compound eyes are small and they are well separated. If you look at the wing characters, pterostigma is present that is dark pigmented spot and nodus is present, network like venation we can see here. Wing flexing mechanism is absent in odonata. Male accessory genital organ present on second and third abdominal segment. Legs are directed forward mainly to capture the prey. And immature stages are called as naiads. In naiads, labium is modified into mask to capture the prey. That means whenever prey passes, labium protracted forward and then it capture the prey and drag towards the mouth so that this labium which covers the face and looks like mask uh, they mainly respire through caudal gills in damsonflies whereas through rectal gills in dragonflies there are three suborders present in this order, namely Anisoptera, Jaigoptera and Anisojaigoptera. These are the families belong to the respective suborders. Let's see the Anisoptera dragonflies comes under this suborder. Here four wings and hind wings are unequal in size. If you look at the hind wing, base of the hind wing is broader than the base of the four wing. And if you look at the uh, compound eyes, compound eyes are holoptic and uh, naiads uh, respire through rectal gills. Dragonflies are the strong flyers. They spread wings laterally at uh, rest. Next one is Jaigoptera. Damsonflies comes under the suborder Jaigoptera. Here, four wings and hind wings approximately of same uh, shape and size you can see here. And wings are petiolated that is narrow at the uh, base. Comparatively, damsonflies are weak flyers. And naiads respire through caudal gills. If you look at the uh, compound eyes of damsonfly, they are uh, dioptic. And uh, during rest, wings are are held at an angle over the uh, abdomen. Third one is Anisojagoptera. Here wing venation resembles damsonflies but body form is like uh, dragonflies and uh, whereas nymphs resembles the nymphs of dragonflies. Next order is Ephemeroptera. It is also called as Ephemerida or Plectoptera. Uh, commonly called as mayflies or shad flies or day flies because adult lives for a day. If you look at the order level characters, mouth parts in adults are autrophied. Wing flexing mechanism is absent. They have a pair of long cerci along with a median caudal filament. If you look at the immature characters, immature are called as uh, naiads. They undergo 10 to 50 moles, that is, largest number of instars present among the insects. They respire through filamentous gills, you can see here. Palmen's organ present in the tracheal system. Molting occurs even after attaining the sexual maturity. Naiads lives in fresh water, uh, that's why they used in the evaluation of water pollution. If you look at the life cycle of mayflies, female lays eggs in the fresh water, eggs hatches within two weeks and uh, naiad lives for one year and then uh, adult emerges uh, from the lost larval instar that is called as sub-imago stage. That means body is covered with fine hairs, legs and cerci are not well developed. Sub-imago stage transforms into imago stage after 24 hours that means wings are transparent, legs and cerci are well developed and then mating takes place again female lays eggs, uh, eggs in fresh water so if you have any doubts please comment below the video thank you